Hi everyone. So we have got the Scalar Bootcamp in just around the corner this weekend, and it is going to be two day bootcamp for 2.5 hours each and totaling a five hour bootcamp this time. So in this bootcamp, in this two day workshop, we'll be doing a lot of things today. And I'll also giving you a lot of homeworks as well. So be prepared for all these things. So what is going to happen in this two day bootcamp? What are all the prerequisites for this two day bootcamp? Everything we will discuss it in a very short way. Okay, the first thing is there are a couple of small, small, small prerequisites that are required for the bootcamp to be enjoyed completely. First thing is you should have a basic knowledge of front end like HTML, CSS and JavaScript and uh, a bit of uh, CSS framework as well. And then a bit of an idea about how server side works and the web hosting as well. We are not going to go into the back end of anything, but it is just that we will be working on these things as well. So let's quickly go through the day one agenda and day two agenda that will actually help you out in planning out the whole session. So day one, we will be introducing the complete development environment, the tooling, etc. Then why do you need React.js and why do you not need React.js? There are different use cases where you might need React.js, where you might not need React.js. We'll be looking at those things, do's and don'ts of React.js. So what you need to do when you are working with React.js, when what you need to do, what you should not do when you are working with React.js. For example, you cannot use jQuery and React.js together. It is like putting mentors into um, Coca-Cola bottle, right? So don't do those things. And uh, we will be starting with the React.js basic stuff like, you know, the ecosystem and hello to JSX. JSX is the language that we will be using with React.js and uh, installing the prerequisites. First thing you need to have a couple of things like your Chrome browser, the Chrome dev tools, and uh, in the sense that Chrome extension, React dev tools, etc. And then we also need Node.js for running React applications. And finally, you need to also have a good IDE. I would uh, suggest using Visual Studio Code because that is one of the best. And uh, at least it is really good with uh, React.js and other things. We are going to introduce, um, we are going to create a project locally. So you might need to have Git and uh, uh, other shell commands installed, the shell applications in case if you don't use a Unix based machine like Windows. And uh, we will be installing and uh, running a React's Hello World application. Uh, we will also look into what exactly is this CRA and tooling. So it's one of the toolings of React and it is called Create React App and we will be seeing how we will be working on. So Create React App is a tool. So it creates a lot of unnecessary things. How are we going to clean up and restructure the whole project? Then we will be introducing the public directory. This is one of the main things we will be looking into branding and presentation, adding CSS frameworks, fonts, SEO stuff like titles, descriptions, meta, etc. And then we will also go through the whole folder structure of React.js, how the folder structure should be in a good way. Then we will look into React.js different types of components. There are functional components, there are pure components, there are class components. We'll see what components are uh, helpful in which cases and what are all the use cases as well. Then uh, we'll also try to understand the differences between states and props, how you will be passing the data between components using state and props using different types of data. And then we will also try to migrate the class components into functional components, which is very most very common these days. This is something which a lot of people are working on and uh, people are trying to like migrate from the class components to functional components. And finally, coming to the data side of things, we will also look into Ajax calls, how you can fire Ajax calls using uh, APIs, etc. and uh, Axios, etc. And what are all the data flows involved in asynchronous data handling? Then finally, we will also use Bootstrap as the CSS library and uh, how we can create multiple Bootstrap based components. And we should actually think about a nice uh, project for Sunday. So Sunday is going to be the complete uh, whatever you learned in Saturday, you will be going to work with them with it in Friday, uh, Sunday. So we will be thinking of a nice, awesome project on Saturday. And once we do all those things, I'll also give you some homework on Saturday. So after all these things, I guess it is better to also revise everything, right? Then once we are on Sunday, this is the day two on Sunday. So we will try to quickly understand what exactly our project does. 
our final project and we would need to also grab some external resources like icons uh, images etc then we will try to create and complete the complete project using react js then we should be able to deploy the project using github pages we will also try to create or register a custom domain for ourselves anyone who is who doesn't have your own personal domain you can make use of this opportunity and then once we create the custom domain we can also deploy that on github pages so how we are going to connect our custom domain with github pages then deploying the whole application once we do all these things we'll be able to finally show it to the world that we did something so i'll be sharing all the resources and links as well so i hope this kind of a small quick introduction of our 5r boot camp is very beneficial so subscribe to this channel also tell me what you want to know and it is going to be completely interactive it's going to be a live session i'm going to do everything from scratch and uh, i'll be talking to you as well so make sure you're all ready for this see you soon on saturday and i hope the timings are clear so be ready and let's do something awesome by the way stay home stay safe and stay away from covid see ya